Hi Taurus, happy Thursday. Welcome in, come on in. Come and get comfortable with me. Hi, how are you all? Just cleansing the energy from the pre-shuffle. Um, listen, just a quick message before I forget, whilst meditating on your energy. Something isn't over, but it's about to be. And, you, and it's in a good, you're being told to hold your vision. So I feel like it's in a way that you anticipate something that you expect. It could be something to do with finances for some of you. Something's going to go the way that you want it to go. Something that you maybe thought was over though, but it's not or something. But anywho, hi, how are you all? So welcome in. Come in and just check for my darling Tauruses as always. Time is fluid, okay? Past is a minute ago and prior. Future is in a minute and beyond. Place yourself in the timeline or my timeline, my readings as you see fit. Do not force the messages to fit if they're not for you. They may not resonate. Energy shifts, changes. Of, you know, I may be picking, on some, picking up on somebody else's energy than I was yesterday. They may not always resonate for you. Um, so please don't try and force it. Okay? Come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, and flip the rules if you need to. This could be cross watchers energy, you know? Whatever. Anyway. Um, but yeah. This could be something that's already happened, happening right now, or it could be a future prediction. Let's jump on in. Let's see what my angels need to see. Place a sign of Taurus in your birth chart anyway, like Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, show me what my darling needs to see, please. Show me what my Tauruses need to see. You can feel the change coming. Yes, you can. You can feel something on. You can feel something. Divine masculine, and then a little. Someone could be younger than you, or you could be the younger masculine. Flip it. If, if, flip it as you need to. Oh, you've been told to protect your home as well, and your fact, definitely your privacy. Right. Okay. I feel like someone's coming towards you for a commitment. That's what I was getting in the pre-shuffle as well. Someone wants to commit to you or make something official. And there is a big fat hesitancy about that for some reason. And it's because of a challenge or an enemy or a block. Some of you, this is to do with finances. And maybe it's an ex-boss or something like that. Others of you, this is like an ex-friend. Or it's an ex-partner. Or someone's. There's, a, there's something making you feel hesitant about getting into a situation with someone whatever that may be coughing card number eight ending loss sadness depression illness transformation okay show me what my taurus needs to see please for the highest good oh fucking hell it does not fail it does not fail no it does not the snake deception cheating intelligence desire seduction untrustworthiness Someone could be lying about being polar. Yeah, someone could be lying about the health. It could be a member of your family. Tree, we've got the tree. Health, growth, spiritual, vitality, karma from the past. Oh, it's someone from your past. Oh my, listen to some of you that are getting in a relationship. Just be careful that someone, maybe your ex or something like that, it's not going to come and try and sabotage by saying that they're polar. Someone's going to try and like maybe exaggerate. More than, maybe not lie. It's deception, it's, I feel like someone's going to try and exaggerate something, an illness, help something to do with the health. This could be, you know, the house, home, family, warmth, security, privacy, comfort. That will be for everyone though, obviously. There's also someone going through a transformation here from your past. There's someone from your past. Always, God's sake. I feel like someone's going to come towards you and say that they changed or they've gone through a transformation and you're not going to believe them. You could be being told to protect yourself from that. Or set boundaries, you know. Oh yeah, some of you don't believe someone. Some of you, there's a friend that's just causing you drama, hard work. Conflict, debate, hard work, abuse, pain, physical activity. So 
some of you there's um there's been like a child situation which has been a bit conflicty or just hard work maybe That's going to work out in your favour with a bouquet. Um, I feel like you're very, very, very cautious at this time. Or oh, that's advice. Maybe especially when it comes to who you feel is your support of some sort. Show me the messages, please. Somebody rising Venus. Yeah, listen, someone's trying to make your shit difficult. Someone's trying to make you um, not want to fulfill something that you really wanted to do. Someone's trying to put you off something. Someone's trying to make you, you know, like put you off something that you really wanted to do. It's like just putting pure negativity all over something that you wanted to do, making something hard work. Yeah. Show me messages for Taurus, please. I feel like someone is trying to trigger you. Is that not what was in the reading yesterday? You're being protected throughout a whole lot of movements. There's a lot of energy, um, energetic and physical movements, changes, shifts going on, and you've got a lot of protection surrounding that. Some of you are going to hear from someone or someone's going to send something to your home or something like that. Someone that you already expect to kind of hear from in, in some kind of way or someone that owes you money. Um, that's about to complete. That's, a, that's one of the situations that is not over yet, but it's going to be. There's a situation that's not over yet, but it's going to, going to be and it's going to be massively ended in your favour. And it's going to... It's going to then like warrant a big change a big big move forward whether that's physical or energetic i hope i'm making sense show me messages for taurus please some moon rising in venus okay we've got the mature woman thailand labor listen these are the two cards that i've just seen when i was like someone is trying to make shit difficult for you some of you, you're the mature woman and others of you are, it's the mature woman doing this. Someone in a divine feminine energy, energy, someone just a bitch. And those of you that are in the mature woman energy, it's someone trying to turn you off something. You know, like, make you think, no, bad idea. It's going to be too much like hard work. It's going to be too much what hard graft. You know, blood, sweat and tears. Someone's trying to turn you off something. And it's in a shady fucking way. So bear that in mind. Show me more. Look, someone's really trying to put you in a negative energy, negative mind frame. This absolutely could be to do with someone's health. It could be someone playing on the health issues in some kind of way. And it's it's in a shady ass, deceptive kind of way. Someone knows that you kind of want them though. Someone doesn't like your spirituality for some of you. Show me one more. Distant horizons. Some of you, this is about a move. Someone knows that you're onto him, especially when it comes to some kind of move or travel plans, especially when it comes to delays and being snaky and sneaker and lying and especially if this is family. Right, but you're winning. Hi, honours. Adjudication, message, pathway. Something's going to be made very clear to you and maybe even very clear to a lot of other people. There's going to be something public. Some of you, especially those of you that someone's lying about the health in some kind of way, someone's going to be put, like outed publicly. Someone might be about embarrassed or something. Or someone might be trying to embarrass you publicly. Show me messages for Taurus, please. No, there's not great energy here today, guys. I'm not liking it. Mm -mm. The snake. Competition, enema, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder at the other woman. Hello. And I don't feel that's you. 
for the majority of you, I don't. Yeah, someone's trying to gaslight you. Yes, they are. Someone's trying to gaslight you. Those of you that this is about a work thing, it is someone that sees you as some kind of crazy ass competition. Someone to take you out the running um, in some kind of way. Like, very threatened by you. Your spirituality. Your karma. Someone's concerned over your good karma. What the hell? Not enough. Someone is seriously trying to sabotage and it's down to them being lonely. It's like someone's lacking in confidence and they're just, you know, like projecting out of fear and ego and it's on you. You're the, you're the target <laughs> in whatever this is. Very jealous. Someone's very jealous. Over something that you've got a lot of passion about. So someone's going to try and turn you off something. This could be a relationship for some of you. This is a work thing. Or it's even just working on yourself. It's like if you've been doing something, going through a transformation, it's like, and now someone's telling you you're doing it wrong or you're doing it, you look silly. Or, you know, if, you, if you've been going to the gym, like, or you've, I don't know, you've got someone being very negative, projecting very negatively on you. And it's because they are jealous, lonely, egotistical. They need healing. They're frustrated in, this, in themselves and, you know, they see a lot of what they want to be in you. So they kind of blame you for what they're not. <laughs> what? What am I saying? Some of you, this is family. Look, it's a karmic relationship. Oh my God, some of you, this is um, like a, a lover and it's either your ex or theirs because someone is ill with the fact that you've got, you've moved on, you've moved forward. Show me messages for Taurus, please. You're going to be finding out some of the shit. Allow it. Show me Taurus's energy. Healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And that's hitting the mature woman. Someone's getting away from this bitch. This is either you or cross watcher. Right? Some kind of divine feminine. It could be a mother figure or just someone in a bitchy ass energy. Someone is just a bitch, cold, like dead like just rude toxic entitled karmic as fuck show me messages for taurus please someone's getting away from that someone could have um gambling problems or money problems and that's a reason for codependency in a way heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning self-indulgent someone don't want someone stepping away from them they're crying oh my god has someone said that they're ill so you don't go you don't move out you don't leave because you want to focus on yourself self-indulgent self-worth time to heal someone doesn't want you leaving them it's like you've realized your value and they're now going to play on it play on your value even more highly likely something to do with the health or Paradise wanted to come out then because you want to be with someone else. Or you want to go somewhere else. Some of you, this is a boss or it's an ex or it's your person's ex. It's And even if it's your person's ex, they fucking absolutely blame you. Like, for this person moving on, like, moving out, I don't know. Some of you, this is about a house move. Show me one more for Taurus. Look, you're going to be finding out a lot, the dragonfly. Got an itchy nose. Be lighthearted. Finding out. Things coming to light. Adapt. Change. Heal. You want to change. Someone wants to grow. And someone is really, really, really holding that person back. Whether this is you, Taurus, or Crosswatcher. Flip it as you need to. Someone is really holding back someone's transformation process. Yes, they are. Someone is begging someone not to leave. Wow. Begging. Don't go. Please don't go. Chasing someone, like chasing someone out the door. Wow, that would be for everyone, of course. <sighs> Bit intense today, I'm not going to lie. I weren't going to come on today either. Look, someone's letting go of something that's no longer serving them. 
someone wants to make room for the new beginnings and somebody's trying to hold them fucking back. So if this is moving out or moving away, moving... Show me Taurus's messages. Some of you, there's a pregnancy. Some of you are moving out because you're pregnant. Caution, find out more information. Don't overweight yourself. I'm gambling. Date night, so it's a risk for you, this. You want it, but it's a big risk. With pets underneath it. Earth sign. Liar. Yes. So luck is on your side. When it comes to a liar. Someone could be lying about you. Someone's blaming you for something. Luck's on your side with that. And it's because you... Someone's either lying to you or calling you or blaming you in some kind of way. Show me Taurus's energy, please. You're not liar. This mature woman is someone sneaker. Be careful of someone sneaker. This is what someone needs to get away from. Water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have water in your chart. You could be dealing with the water sign. It could be the liar that's the water sign. Let go and health. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its, on its way to you now. And health issues could arise. Someone is lying. Someone is saying that they've got some kind of health issue because someone wants to leave. Wow. Some people will stoop that low. There's something going on here. Oh, it's like claiming to heartbroken, you know? Depression, like. There's some kind of. This is going to be so different for all of you. It's like someone's going to come and tell you that they want to be with you. Some of you, you've already kind of seen someone and. It's got to be on the down low because of whoever that fucking insane person is. Um, yeah, you, give it time because of someone else. An air sign. Someone's trying to really, really be like you in a way. I don't like. That's even that's either professional there, or just you as a person. Show me Taurus's messages. Right, uh, you've got a soulmate coming in, and a lot of you, you know who this is, and it's going to go to a higher commitment. So some of you, this is just becoming official. Some of you, it's becoming public. Some of you, it's being kept quiet, a secret, because of either your crazy ex or theirs. Or someone's crazy mother, or some kind of crazy energy. Like, listen, but the passion is far too intense, and it's very mutual. Insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest, burning desire. So, listen, if this person hasn't expressed their interest in you yet, they're going to be doing. Coffee cup. This could be a friend, someone that you know as a friend, or someone that you used to just have friends with benefits kind of thing with. Meeting and talking, savouring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship, self-indulgence. Self-worth, value, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Someone appreciates you. Someone's been learning from you as well. For some of you. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Listen, I'm not even kidding. What did I say before? Someone's got to run from this bitch. The runner. Someone's running away. From this very, very, very toxic energy. And I feel like it's standing at the door saying, I don't think so. Um, but they're getting, they're getting out, though. I feel like that's the point of the message. Look, the snake, shit. There's some kind of all about you shit here. Competition and enemy. The other woman, look over your shoulder. Someone don't want someone running to you. I'm telling you that now. And others of you, this someone doesn't want you running to someone else. Or someone's trying to instill fear in you in some kind of way because they're just nothing but a fucking weirdo. I don't know. This bitch is looking at your pictures.
you've got someone stalking the fuck out of you in a weird, competitive, jealous way. Yeah. Someone that's got no confidence the way that you have. Um... Someone self-sabotaged the situation with you in the first first time round. This is someone that you know. Yep. And now there's going to be a very, very, very unexpected healthy choice that's being made. Some of you, this is you. And this is some, about someone that you want to be with. So, like, maybe, you know, like, a very overbearing mother. Like, don't want you to go and be with someone because they don't approve. Or someone's not good enough for you. Or, but it's nothing to do with that. Like, it's nothing to do with any of that. This whoever's been that in whoever's in that mature woman energy is full of shit and someone needs to get the fuck away from it. <laughs> One more. Oh, oh, okay, that'll do. Not the golden mirror and the narcissist, love by myself absorbed. Someone is so fucking wow, someone is obsessed with you. In a very, very, very weird way. Like someone wants to be like you. Got stability and security and performance, growth and endurance and the butterfly evolving and growth, next phase, healing the inner child, releasing the past. Some of you, someone maybe like doesn't wants to do what you do, but don't quite understand how you do it. Some of you as well, this is someone that's Love bomb the fuck out of you coming back around, but there's some kind of enema. <laughs> there's some kind of block. Highly likely some kind of third party situation. But there's some kind of change on its way. Evolution. Another a new phase. Oh sugar plummies. You twin flame. I feel like you already know this person. Maybe some of you just on a friend level, friend with benefits, a situation ship. Whatever. It's like different. It's going to be different for all of you. So, you know, let's get tarot. King of Cups. Someone is in love with you. And someone eats it. Show me Taurus's energy. Someone's really trying to play on someone's heartstrings. Like, really, really, really trying to play on someone's heartstrings. Like, someone's trying to make someone feel really bad. Right, someone that is in love with you is watching you. Someone's watching, right, so. Maybe someone's found someone looking at your pictures. Oh, you really, 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 I feel like you stalkers are here again. You spies. A lot of you have been watched at work, wherever that may be, however that may be. Oh, it's how you're working on yourself. Someone wants to be like you. And then there's another manager that loves you. The world, the Ace of Pentacles, wowzers. Some of you are going to get some great news as far as the job is concerned. Um, congratulations. Winning, major winning here. This is a commitment for some of you. But there's been a karmic one that's ended. This karmic cycle that's been broken and that's not on you. Whether this is your own or it's someone else's, it's not on you. Show me messages for Taurus, please. Right, so the feelings are mutual here. I've seen the King and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So you've got major feelings, but you just don't know. Show me more. What don't you know? The Nine of Swords. Wow. Show me more. Some of you are still waiting on this in a way. And it's stressing you the fuck out. The Two of Swords. Someone. Show me some more. One more please for Taurus. The Ten of Wands. And the Six of Cups. Sorry, Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups.
So I can pass it here. Absolutely no doubt. And you're not going to know. It's going to stress you the fuck out. Try not to overthink it that much. It's about whether your path's clear or whether it's going to be very, very difficult. And that's what someone's trying to instill in you as well, you know. So just be mindful. Some of you, you've got literally someone down your ear telling you that something's going to be difficult. And, you know, if I was you, I wouldn't. That kind of shit. And others of you, this is yourself. Because of another kind of energy. Great news for you. Wow. The page of the Princess of Pentacles, which is the page. Justice, the Empress, strong Libra energy, and Taurus. But that's amazing energy. That's beautiful news. Something massively being balanced out in your favour, karmically. Beautiful energy. This is a lot of love as well. A lot of love. Some of you like you are I hope you all know how stunning you are because that is a lot of venusian and beautiful energy. There could be something about a pregnancy as well, or it's just a rebirth. But you know, both energies there are run by Venus and both stunning in appearance and in in the soul. So yay for you. Oh yay, the four of wands. You're getting in the commitment, the ace of cups, shit, yeah you are. Some of you it's a Leo. Hmm. Let's clarify. Not the Queen of Chalices, so you do have feelings for this person. It's very mutual. The Seven of Swords, but you don't trust it because of the potential chaos. See, this Seven of Swords, and I don't use this deck often, so, you know, don't believe in coincidences, but this is more of the chaos, like having to hold on, having to be in the energy of, you know, being defensive or being overly cautious or having to watch your back as well nine chalices but this is a wish fulfillment you're being told to chill meditate meditate show me Taurus's messages wow uh, guys this is two people coming together here and this is just an energy that's really, really trying to stop it. Some of you, it's someone connected to you and they don't want you moving out, moving on, da da da. And others of you, it's the person that is coming to you. It's someone that's stopping them from doing that. Maybe it's about you specifically. Others, it's just anyone, you know? Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone's path is becoming clear. Both two are swords energy there. Um, uh, the swords with the, you know, they're not in front of them, they're open. So. Once what once what was blocked is now not. A commitment. It's like someone couldn't see the way out or I don't know. Someone's trying to block your path. But they can. They can. The universe says no. Honestly, if someone is gonna say something to you. So if they haven't yet. Just come back to this reading and because they're gonna put doubt in your mind, they're gonna put, you know, they're gonna plant a seed. And you're going to overthink that if you're not already. Don't do it. Come and listen to Kels. This bitch is bitter. Show me this Queen of Cups, please. The Seven of Pentacles. You know, like if it's someone ex, someone's ex coming to our job, they're going to be like, oh, they'll fuck you over like they did me. Do you know what I mean? Don't be so silly to think that, da da da. I don't know. You know, just something dead shit. The Emperor. And Strength, Aries energy, Leo energy. You're going to be very, very, very considerate. Like, you're going to be very. Only speak to maybe one person that you feel like you can confide in, whether that is in the Divine or, you know, whether it's in the 3D or the 5D. There's. It's like there's not many people, unfortunately, you can trust maybe with this situation or with this person. Like, advice-wise. Advice but there is one. There is one very loyal and... If I can focus. Like, just whispering to a squirrel there, you know? 
someone that's going to tell you something of luck and of niceness, not negativity. Like I say, if that's in the 3D or the 5D, take that as you will. But this is about your about your person, like you want to be with the emperor, potential husband, potential father to your kids. Maybe it's the same person. Maybe that's the, it's that person already. Like you're being told to have strength and courage here to deal with the situation that you've got love for. This absolutely could be the father or the mother of your child. Wow, look. Oh, guys, this is very mutual. But you're, you're very pondering. You're pondering a lot. You like what's what's worth the risk is this worth the risk this new love yeah guys those of you that are single you're not going to be for long i'm telling you now and those of you that have started seeing someone whether it's someone that you've already been committed to before yourselves whether it's someone that's just got out of their own commitment whatever the weather whatever it is trust your own sermon please yeah show me these two pentacles please well, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower and the Five of Swords. Someone is not being genuine because they've probably been financially impacted in some kind of way or they've been, you know, they've been ghosted, left out in the cold. Again, this, um, I hope I don't get penalised for that, but she actually is covered. She's only got a belly out. But um, someone's going through a state of shock and it's some kind of maternal figure or parental figure. And it's like a lost, someone's kind of lost or feeling lost. So they're just being... You know, they're going through a shock. So they're not being fair. Someone's not being fair here with this five of swords. You know, and they're going to put, you know, you're in the mix. It's like. I'm dealing with the Scorpio. Look, someone's going to see that you're happy and they're going to try and fucking ruin it. I'd keep your information to yourself, you know, where you go in to yourself, your locations, I'd keep it all to yourself because someone is watching you like a fucking hawk. Show me what this tower is. The seven of chalices. Someone's going to make you question yourself. Like, there's something about you, unique you, yeah, for this person. However that goes, it's you. Doesn't matter what you look like, how old you are, I don't know. It's about your energy, it's your soul. It's you. And this person that's projecting and being a bit a bit, bit a bitch, male or female, can't understand that. And that's what's causing some kind of tower moment for them. So... They're coming in toxic, do you know what I mean? They, with that five of stars energy, they're not being fair. Someone's not being fair. And it's like, they don't, oh, it's not, they don't think it's fair. Why are you? Yeah, someone don't think something's fair and they can't understand why you, like, why, why are you? Mm. Oh, what's that? I flipped over. I feel, could be an Aries. But why are you? This is what's going to be a risk for you. The Ace of Chalices, the King of Wands, could be a fire sign. The Four of Chalices, the Seven of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Magician. You manifested this and it's coming in. It took a little bit longer than anticipated and maybe that's the reason for the, for a lot of the doubt or why well, I'm putting that back. Um, but you've manifested this and it's showing up as a potential missed opportunity. And it's based on what someone's saying, which is and or could be very unfortunate. So... Trust your own intu intuition because you are highly intuitive. Don't let someone plant shit seeds. Show me this nine of swords. Not the three chalices. Show me this nine of swords, please, for Taurus. Taurus. The ace of wands. And the four of chalices. Someone... You both want this and there's a potential for a brand new passionate beginning, a blessing. But it's like a, there's a big stress over whether it can work, whether... Or 
Honestly, for a lot of you, someone's going to convince you that someone gets up to all sorts when they're out with a friend's maybe, male or female. Don't listen. Don't listen to it. Something will stress you out if you let it. And you're being told to ignore it. With the four of chalices. Ignore it. Look, the page of one, someone's going to throw fireballs. Mm, don't catch him. Don't catch him. You're a lot... You're on a hell of a lot higher vibration than this person, okay? Don't catch their bullshit. Don't lower yourself. Literally. Don't lower yourself. Someone is very, very, very jealous of you. Very jealous. Very, 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 very jealous. And it's over a divine masculine. Could be an earth energy. It's always Virgo Capricorn. I'll flip that completely, you know, the genders, whichever way it goes. But it's luck is on your side. Show me this two of swords, please, for Taurus. The Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. This can now be a commitment. So whatever block was there, yeah, it's been lifted. For you to have this commitment, your twin flame. The Four of Wands, marriage, that's marriage, commitment, going to the next level. The Swan's path is clear, there's Two of Swords, the path is wide open, them swords are separated. Someone could be going through a separation. What if you're questioning whether someone's got feelings for you, whether they're being honest, whether... I mean it or whether you still have feelings for them maybe well that's a lot of you the empress there has been a bit of a wait in period here and a lot of gossip surrounding that show me this ten of wands please for taurus Right, the High Priestess, the Lovers, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, someone is going to put a lot of burdens, problems, bullshit on another for something to come to an end. Um, but you've been told it's trust your intuition. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Gemini. This situation, this relationship, this bond, this spiritual connection, this romantic connection can be built upon. It can be worked upon. Trust your intuition. It's the only advice I'll ever give you. Don't listen to anyone but your intuition. Don't even listen to me. Listen to your intuition. You know, I mean, do listen to me, but listen to your intuition over me. Do you know what I mean? General messages again. Not personal. I won't bullshit you. Not even in a personal reading. I won't just give you what I feel like you want to hear. Never, ever, ever will I do that. You know, there's many a time where I've bollocked someone in a personal reading, you know, kind of told them off. Um, obviously, we're regulars, but... Um, you know, I, I don't tell you what you want, what it is that you want to hear. I don't even pick the cards. You see me not pick the cards. They pop out. Your energy brings the cards out, guys. This can be worked upon. There's just someone very, very, very jealous, down, heavy. Look, I feel like there's a separation going on outside of this or this was what happened in the past i don't know and that's why someone is telling you that it's never going to work again i don't know do you know what i mean but the king and the queen of swords there are coming to some kind of arrangement possibly for a child um show me the six of cups Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, Jesus, someone is legging it towards you. The moon, you just don't see it. You can feel it. You can absolutely feel it. Someone is on toes, sprinting, running on their way. Some of you, this is just messages. But either way, you're going to get communication from this, from this person. They're either going to turn up at your door whilst you're completely... 
doing something else. <laughs> um, I'll bring you a gift. But they're on the way. You just don't see it with the moon. You can feel it. But you don't see it. This is your past. You're running right back. Some of you are the younger sign. Younger energy. Don't have to be. You're just in a very youthful, energetic kind of space right now. Like, very content. Being told to ignore the devil. Meditate. When it comes to the devil, someone that's just got to, someone that's very codependent, that knight of pentacles with the devil, it's someone that just won't let go. Um, they need to heal. But you're being told to meditate. Wish them well, you know? I know that can be difficult, but it could be a Capricorn. Or a Cancer. But let's get you some moonology. I hope that's made sense, but that's what we've got. Show me Taurus messages. Time to give rather than take. Step out of your comfort zone. Someone just wants to be happy. And there's another that does not want that to happen. Prosperity lies ahead. But it's going to. <laughs> Yay. Nothing is yet set in stone, I'm telling you now. Sold you from the very beginning. Nothing, it's not over yet, but it's going to be. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yep. Nothing will come of this situation. Take time to breathe out. Right. I do feel like there's something ending. So you can go towards a new beginning. And that's okay. Whatever that takes time to breathe out from nothing, the coming of the situation, that's okay. Well, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. It's okay to release whatever this is, even if it's family. Do you know what I mean? Like, whatever the ties or the bounds or whatever you feel that are there, whether I'm talking to Taurus or Crosswatcher right now, like, whatever you feel obligated, committed for, to, it's... You've kind of, you know, you, your bit's been fulfilled. You've done your bit. The answers you need to come in. Full moon in Gemini. And a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, or have any of them signs in your chart. I do, I feel like someone's going to reach out and tell you some shit. Be very two-faced. Try and make you doubt yourself or question what it is that you want. And it's just to be released. Release negativity. The end of the cycle approaches. Don't let pride get in your way. And show the world the real you. Hmm. That's what we've got. I hope it's made sense. Do let me know. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all tomorrow. Mwah.